Hi guys, welcome to Rap Trace House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign. That's another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We're gonna see what's the energy going, the energy surrounding you in this earth sign. All right, I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. So this is going to be for my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign. That's another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you in this earth sign. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. For my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign. It's a lot of energy that wants to come out. It says healing, not for you in loneliness. Okay. I'm healing those parts of me I avoided for so long. So a lot of you guys, you are focused on your healing. It says not for you. Let's not continue this madness. It's best if we just moved on. You see that energy? Somebody feels like it's just best that you guys move on. It says loneliness. I'm feeling the burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit it. But I'm ashamed to admit it. So you guys, you got somebody here that, like you're focused on your healing for a lot of you guys. But some of you guys are in a connection here with an earth sign and there's a lot of madness here. It's time, it's saying it's best if we just moved on. Somebody feels lonely and their lonesomeness comes from them being ashamed, ashamed of their behavior in some type of way, shape or form. Show me, show me what I need to see says self-love self-love i'm learning to love myself and make my happiness a priority so some of you guys you're dealing with somebody here this person is focused on their healing right now present moment and yes some of you guys you could be focused on your healing right now present moment but there's someone here you are apart from this person this person's extremely extremely lonely extremely lonely they're ashamed of their behavior it says perfect match Somebody feels like you're a perfect match. Reason why our fire burns so hot. So there is an earth sign here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that does feel like you guys are a perfect match. Yeah. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me this healing energy. Show me this healing energy for my Virgo. So that's dealing with another earth sign. It says new perspective. I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's all so clear. So somebody's had an awakening. This earth sign, this person has had an awakening. It says waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. This person's still waiting for you. This person is still waiting to hear back from you. Look at that nostalgia. It's been hard not to think of what used to be. This person is missing you and very much so nostalgic. This person is missing you and very much so nostalgic. Yeah. Now, some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here and they're like, you know what? It's time for us to stop this foolishness. Show me this not for, for you. Apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? What can I do to make it right? This is somebody that's pulled back their energy from you. This is someone here that has pulled back their energy from you. They thought it would be easier than what it's been. This person thought it would be easier than what it has been. Yeah, this person's feeling the burn right now, present moment. Show me this loneliness. Show me. Under pressure. 
I'm under a lot of pressure. Be understanding. Somebody's missing you and somebody's extremely lonely right now, present moment. They're ashamed of their behavior. I'm feeling the burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit that. You know, and it says this person's under a lot of pressure right now, present moment. Whoever this earth sign is, this person's under a lot of pressure right now, present moment. Yeah, show me self-love. Twin flame. I remember who you are. I've loved you before. A lot of you guys, this person is your twin flame. A lot of you guys, you and this person, y'all live the past life connection. That's why you feel such a perfect bond with this person. Yeah, show me this perfect match. Show me this perfect match. Making an effort. See that? This person wants to make an effort now. I'm willing to put in the work I have to have our happily ever after. So some of you guys, this part, this, as I just saw 555 five, five on the clock, you got a twin flame here. Somebody that's in love with you. This person wants to make an effort now. This person sees you as their perfect match. This person sees you as their perfect match. Yeah. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. Right now, present moment, a lot of you guys may be disconnected from your twin flame. A lot of you guys may be in separation from your twin, twin flame or in separation from your Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Massive energy. Let's see. So for my Virgos that's dealing with another Virgo. This is for my Virgos that's dealing with another Virgo. How does this Virgo feel about my Virgo spirit? Oof, stalking. Ten of Pentacles. You see this person as your everything. Some of you guys have a family with this person. You know, this person, this person is stalking you. This person's getting personal readings on you. You know, this is somebody here that somebody here, this person could be even stalking your family or your family members. They could be contacting them, trying to figure out what's going on with you for some of you guys. But with that 10 of pentacles, this is somebody here that sees everything with you. Yeah. This person sees longevity with you. And how do how does my Virgo feel about this Virgo? How does my Virgo feel about this Virgo? This Virgo. Three of Cups. You don't want to reunite with this person. You do not want to reunite with this person, the hangman. You see this person differently. You're free from this person now. And you see this person differently. You don't want to reconcile with this person. You don't want to reunite with this person. And what's the potential outcome between my Virgos and this other Virgo? The high priestess, listen to your intuitions. Listen to your intuitions because, you know, when the high priestess comes out, there's something that you don't know. There's something here that you don't know when, in dealing with this person. Seven of Pentacles talks about investments, justice. Now, this person is going to try. This person is going to try to work things out with you, but your spirit guides are telling you to listen to your intuitions because there's some things that's hidden from you. There is some things that's hidden from you in, in terms of dealing with this Virgo. Yeah. Let's see. For my Virgos that's dealing with a Taurus, how does this Taurus feel about my Virgos? Oh, justice. Libra energy. Knight of Swords. So this Taurus is going to chase after you. This Taurus wants to come towards you correct. This Taurus wants to come towards you correct. Yeah, this person's going to chase after you. This person wants to talk to you. Some of you guys, this person wants commitment. This person wants marriage. And how does my Virgo feel about this Taurus? How does my Virgo feel about this Taurus? The magician and the two of cups, you feel like this person's just soulmate, but you also feel like this person's manipulative. You feel like this person's a soulmate, but you also feel like this person's manipulative. Yeah, nine of wands, because this person has wounded you already. This person has already wounded you. But you feel such a strong bond to this person, but you do find this person to be a tad bit manipulative. And what's the potential outcome between this, this Taurus and my Virgo? 
what's the potential outcome? Two of Wands. You know, you and this person, y'all got a decision to be made, but there's like a stagnation in making a decision. Somebody is like not really and truly, you, you and this person, you're kind of, it's kind of lingering, the hangman. There needs to be a shift here in you guys' perspective, Six of Swords, to be able to move forward. Because there's something about you guys still holding on. You guys are still holding on. It's like you and this person have been beefing and you're still holding on to something. Some of you guys, there's a grudge here that somebody's still holding on to. But this talks about in divine timing, in divine timing. But this is like still holding on, wanting to move forward. But there needs to be a shift in your perspective because there's a, there's a moment of stagnation. There's a moment of stagnation between you and this Taurus. Yeah. All right, my loves. Let's see. So my Virgos that's dealing with a Capricorn. Show me spirit. How does this Capricorn feel about my Virgo? How does this Capricorn feel about my Virgo? Ooh, the lovers. This person's in love with you. But this person, has, some of you guys, this person has a choice between you and somebody else. This person looks up to you. This person sees you as a boss. This person looks up to you. This person has you on a, on a, on a high pedestal. This Capricorn has you on a high pedestal. Some of you guys, this person could have to choose, could have a choice between two. But this person is in love with you. Yeah. And how does my Virgo feel about this Capricorn? How does my Virgo? Oh, the Hermit. You're withdrawn from this person, but you love this person. You're withdrawn from this Capricorn, but you love them. You may not be showing it to them or telling it to them, but you love them. You've withdrawn your energy from this person. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, but you're still holding on to this person. You're still holding on to this person. This person's still in your energy. You, you're withdrawing. You're you withdrawn from this person, but you're still holding on. And you love this person. This person loves you. This person feels a high sexual bond to you. A very high sexual bond to you. This person feels like you and them connect. Like this is like two bare souls, skin to skin. That type of energy. Yeah, with the lovers. What's the potential outcome between my Virgos and this Capricorn? What's the potential outcome? Two of Swords, indecisiveness. You both are guarded. You both are guarded the chariot, but sooner or later, the momentum's going to pick up. You both are guarded right now, present moment. You are. Sooner or later, the momentum is going to pick up. Sooner or later, there's going to be some action here. And why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Strength. There's a lot of insecurity between you and this person. Temperance and divine timing. Everything here in this earth energy is all about divine timing. I see holding back. I do see some holding back. But it's like some you guys would not be able to hold back for long. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person will not be able to hold back for long. Not at all. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time, bye guys.